good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed it is. Let's take a look. Yeah, I know, it's fairly, uh, fairly dark out there yet. Yes, indeed it is, but we gotta go make our delivery this morning. Yeah, we gotta be there at six o'clock Eastern time and it's 520 something right now, so, uh, so yeah, we're just getting uh, ready to go do a little, our delivery. So let's get our day started. I appreciate you guys tuning in this morning. So let's see what kind of day we're gonna have today. So stick around. Alrighty guys, we are back into a dock. Look at that guys. Yes indeed we are. We're here at the customer. Just waiting to get unloaded. Right on time. It's 6.01 right now. Yes indeed. So let's see how long it's going to take him to unload these six pallets. Eh? This is it guys. We have gotten unloaded. Yeah. We definitely have gotten unloaded now. That's Sure. Alright, we gotta make a left hand turn, okay, that says two lanes turn, yeah, these two up here. Never been here before, I can guarantee you that. Don't know exactly where to have the stop lines up here, but uh, figured this should do it, right? before but that uh, ended up being no I don't remember ever being here before so so yeah I guess that's all right too it was a good place though the right on I 96 east it really was a good place they uh, I mean they keep their appointment time that's for sure they uh, Basically mark down the time Keep even that the I right got there. Six, and six o'clock was my appointment and I got there at uh, 5.50 according to that paper that they signed. And so yeah, I mean at 6.01 I was already backed into a dock and uh, I mean here we are. I mean it's an hour later but or 45 minutes later when I was done unloading but that's not too bad. I mean, I mean, it was only six pallets, so it could have been worse. But at the same time, it wasn't bad, you know? Like, I've had worse experience than that, that's for sure. But, like I said uh, yesterday, it's, uh, it was the weekend yesterday, so we never gotten us a reload offer. And it's now... 5.53 a.m. Central Standard Time and we're unloaded and we basically our dispatcher ain't gonna come until 8 o'clock so that means another 2 hours and 10 minutes he ain't gonna reply to me so that means I started my uh, my logbook this morning In a and basically uh, to the right on M6 West Holland not doing anything. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it is. But yeah, it's about 15 miles there back to the truck stop, so just gonna head back towards the truck stop and uh, I guess uh, do nothing. <laughs> well, maybe I might, but well, I can still finish my yesterday's video yet, like editing. So I might just go ahead and do that. And and then after that, I might just start cleaning my truck. My truck does need a cleaning. So I might just go ahead and do that. That way we get a nice clean truck for a change. But that's all right, I guess. We'll just go back and do Continue our thing. On this road for 10 miles. Yeah, I know, RJ. We got to go back a little bit. But beautiful sunshine morning here again. Look at that nice green golf course over there. Yeah, I know a few people that like to play golf. I'm not one of them, but never actually tried it, so I don't know if I would like it or not. Some, 
people say it's fun. Oh well. I like beach volleyball or volleyball basically. That's what I like to play and that's my sport. That gives me some exercise and I really enjoy playing that game so. But yeah, we'll go down there to the truck stop and see what happens, right? We'll see if we get us a reload today. I suspect I'm going to be sitting there for a couple hours till I get something. But then again, what do I know? Maybe they do have something planned for us. We have just gotten us a reload offer. Yeah! Right out of this town, too. I couldn't believe it, but hey. I guess they've been working hard on getting me a reload and... Uh, Looks like they have made it happen. I mean, it's not a super long trip, but uh, hey, it's better than nothing, man. Better than nothing, that's for sure. But we are only uh, 10 miles basically to our pickup from that truck stop that we left there a few miles ago. So we only got about seven more miles to go and we'll be at our uh, pickup place. Yes, indeed quite excited to have a different pickup than I was suspecting that I was going to get but I'm happy about this pickup that I got now yeah I'm actually very very happy about this pickup but yeah we will be uh, making our way towards our uh, pickup and then uh, we'll see how fast that's going to be but picking up our reload Hopefully they'll be happy to see me as well. If that's the case, then uh, hopefully they'll get me loaded real quick and I can send my paperwork in and we can start heading towards the border. Yeah, the load is taking me towards uh, Windsor, Ontario. So that's not the best ideal, but especially for tonight or something like that but uh, oh well we'll try and make our way down there and deliver the load to where it's going I suppose but it's just an absolutely beautiful day out here today that is a fact not windy at all it is quite warm though that's I gotta give them that that's pretty warm down there that's for sure but uh, yeah just making our way down to it we'll see what happens right all right guys we've been sitting here all day long already yeah and it's already something like 7 30 or something like that and we finally finally gotten us into a dock yeah i got here already by lunchtime and they said apparently the company we're holding for because it's not penner's load they're holding on behalf of somebody else uh, they apparently had an appointment here for five o'clock this afternoon and they said they were going to give me a call as soon as they had an open door for me and it's time is going and going and at five o'clock comes six o'clock comes nobody's calling me so finally at 6 22 i go in there and say well i said i've been waiting here all day patiently i said uh you guys better start loading me here pretty soon because uh you know, I've been here, you know, seven hours now. And so they said, all right, well, uh, we got this one truck over here. He's going to be rejected. So you're going to have an open dock there very soon. So uh, they said, we'll put you in that dock. And so here we are. We finally in that dock. So don't know how long I'm going to be sitting here till they get me loaded or not. But uh, hey, that's the way it goes as a trucking, trucking industry as a truck driver. So, but anyways... Just figured I'd give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on and we'll see what happens. Alrighty guys, I am finished for today. And guess what? <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be able to tell, but let's see over there. Hopefully you can see that. There's still some uh, trailers and stuff like that over there. Yeah, we just got loaded here a few minutes ago. So I said, you know what? I can't go nowhere, I'm out of hours. So I'm just parking right here on the side of our basically driveway that they got around their plant and that's it. And I said, well, I can't go nowhere. And they said, no, that's fine. 
I can stay here for the night, so uh, we're just going to go straight to bed and then uh, that way I can uh, get up early tomorrow morning and get out of here. So I guess today is not much of a vlog, but hey, that's the way it goes sometimes. But uh, appreciate you guys still watching and we'll see you again tomorrow. So hopefully you have a better day tomorrow, right? With that being said, how we'll go on, we'll catch you right here on Trucker Rudy. behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking the walls down